So in this short video, I'm going to show you how I get some more use out of my coils. It's quite simple. Um, once things start getting a bit burny and take, you can simply just take the cotton out and replace it. And this is how I do it. So first of all, I get all the, the bits together. Don't forget the wipes because the oil on the fingers does not feel nice. Take your tank off, give everything a nice wipe over remove all the oils any debris that you might find around your core and open it up so I take it all off and I pop it back pop just the bottom half of the tank back on give it a wipe over before dissecting the coil again I like to leave it all on just makes it a bit easier. What you see here is, uh, you'll see how the carbon builds up, at least the thickest carbon, builds up around the coil and that's where you can taste when it starts tasting a bit odd. So start by pulling out the, the old wick. Usually splits in half. That just shows that the, uh, the middle bit that was actually in contact with the coil is, is burned up and perished a bit and is no longer str as strong as it was before. Um, just trying to grab a, show you how much build up is on the, the coil after about a week's worth of use. Just grab a light there. If it focuses, there you go. You can see just there's quite a lot of just build up on there. And what I like to do is burn it off uh, without the wick and without the the juice. You can burn it off quite quickly. So just heat it up and burn it off. It does smell pretty bad when you're doing this, though. Because what, what's what's quite nice is once you heat it up that much over and over again. It does become very loose, so you can get the rest off quite easily. You can scrape it off. Um, I, li I like to grab a bit of the cotton that was in it before and just wipe it all over with that. And I like the flames. I think they're quite fun. So do it a couple of times. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Uh, all the the build up is is off. You'll see there now what it looks like. It looks almost like a new coil again, which is great. You can't forever keep doing this trick though. It's um, usually only works a couple of times but it's just a bit easier than having to rebuild the entire coil every few days or a week so chop some some new cotton again i can see how much i used last time so i can just cut a little bit more off which is quite nice for the reference twist the end poke it through again i, I always twist the ends because it, it just makes pushing it through a bit easier and then untwist it once it's through just pull it through then with the your tweezers But once you're happy it's uh, exactly in the middle you can reassemble the core well the housing for the coil that is I tried to gauge it when I cut the the cotton for the length that I like so th there's no uh, trimming afterwards poke all the uh, the ends of the cotton back down into the channels There we go. So what we're going to do now is pop some some juice in it. So essentially prime it, 
Again, totally wicked. Diablo, Fingers Malone. It tastes awesome. It's like berries and stuff. It was awesome. A couple of drops. You know, soak up all that. Get that wick fully doused. A couple on the coil as well. And reassemble. You can pop a bit more juice back into your tank at this stage or reassemble and pop some else through. I think what happened to me is the, the rubber washer just come off the bottom of the tank, so just pop me back on. I like the baby wipes because it's <coughs> clean all the oil off and then you can just wipe everything down with them. It's nice. Just put it all back together. And you're done. I have another wipe over, just to be sure. Okay, I, I always do this probably two or three times after initially wrapping the coil. It just saves a bit of time and it's easier than having to rebuild the coil every other day. Take the lead. 